about this? Arthur, Arthur, what? come lend a hand here. Go ahead and call your mama for all I care. Uh, take it easy, I got them big. You might want to quit that. That duck's got mean friends, believe me. Oh, hell. I'm wasting my time anyway. Oh, I appreciate it, Arthur. There's no sense of humor the fellers around here. How drunk were you? Just normal drunk. Anyway, I should probably hit the breeze. I'll be at camp if you need me. Sure enough. You're lucky your head ain't stove in. Get a hold of yourself. Ah, I don't need luck. I got guile. Well, people say heavy rain's coming in. Could do with washing away some of this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. If I'm Hey, who's that? It's Arthur. Welcome back. I expect you'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. You tell me. Morning, Mr. Morgan. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. It all counts, Pierce. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Morning, Arthur. What you prepare for? 
greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Throw that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. I just wanted to see what attracted them. like why would someone do that i don't know but i see tracks heading in this direction i say we follow them all right lead the way could it have been an animal no they've been shot i just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that Another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look.
gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Son okay. of a bitch! You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. <laughs> Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on. Wait up. Shoot those bison. Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. Oh, it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. <laughs> Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
there, friend. Come. Stop all by for a moment. The name's William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I wish you'd teach me to skin like that. Work like that. Listen, we need to keep pushing. We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Thank you, Art. Variants of my craft to get the moment, Mr. Morgan. 
I'm very happy to make myself in your dream the right materials. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. It is that or be a monkey. You happy to have Uncle Sean back? Yes, I missed him. So you stay with me. You stay with us. Because things are gonna get tough, but we are gonna get where we want to go. Listen. And listen good. It ain't the time for doubt. Otherwise, Mac, Jenny, all of them, they died for nothing. Don't make it like that. For yourselves, I mean, because me, I'm going forward. Because going forward makes me an angel of God and not no hey. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. It goes without saying. No. Hello, good sir. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong, that's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. That's...
you, Chick? I was told I could find a Chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, I want to talk to that fella over there. Now, I'm just here to work for the season. Are you Chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! Yeah! <laughs> Take me somewhere good, or uh, suppose there ain't much I can do. Come on, girl. Let's go, girl.
maid. Miss Millet, you know where I can find her? Don't know where she is now, but she's probably with Cooper. You know where Lily Millet is? Not sure, but I, I think I saw her with Cooper earlier. I need to find a ranch maid here called Lily Millet. You know where she is? Lily? Just over there by the store with Cooper. Lily Millet, you know where she is? She's with Cooper over by the store. You have any idea of the hole I'm in? Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved Lily. Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn money. Son of a bitch. Oh, Think about the kinds of men you're friendly with, miss. You've got your money. I don't have to listen to your wisdom, all right? So long. Come on, now.
easy now. Tak, tak, Mr. Rowe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Nie, nie! No, no, no. Money, but but I have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's it's Warsaw, Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. It's very valuable. Good. Not good yet. Don't even speak English.
longer I look, the madder I get. I need, I must eat, bro. Okay, that should about cover things. What you got behind there? So, uh, sorry, I don't understand. Move aside. What do we have here? My old bronzka, nie. Just keep quiet. Coming in. You're back. Gelden tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert. Ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, Morgan? I reckon you two are made for each other. <laughs> made for each other. <laughs> How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Greetings, my 
my boy. I'm doing. Hello. Well, I best shake the dust off. <laughs> All right. I think I'll call it a night. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Okay, girl. Yeah.
Come on, girl. Get it. Half the saloon like that? Near killing Tommy out in the street. Come on, there's gotta be a fight every night in that shithole. Just show some respect next time. We've run far worse than you out of town before. Oh, come on, man. If someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother pretending different. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and come here looking for me is that it no ain't like that arthur oh, okay listen arthur i i'm my family i need your help you mean the family that always looked down on me and you want me to help them? it's my little brother jamie well, i always liked jamie at least compared to the rest of them He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Girl?
you stepping in there those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one saying I gotta pay them protection money I told them where to stick it and well I guess you just saw how that panned out you watch yourself right Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Be reasonable. <laughs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, 
How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Morning, Arthur. You're stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch? Gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. So how'd you end up like this? Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. <laughs> just shoot the chains off, please. I'm done for otherwise. Yes, yes, perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. There's a fella told me about a big farmhouse out in the middle of nowhere, loaded up with valuables, ripe for the taking. If you're in Rhodes, you head north and then east. There's a fella there who raises pigs. Oh yeah. 
Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. Up to you, friend. Pilgrims across the Lanahassee into the wilderness to found a great place of safety. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Shell Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. A path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Jamie, just hold up a minute.
your sister's worried about you. This is none of your damn business. Just stop and let's talk about this. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Arthur, I'm I'm gonna I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. you Arthur I'm I'm gonna I don't want to live anymore kid just calm down leave me alone now calm down let's go see your sister okay Okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. 
That's all a long time ago, son. You idiot. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Just bony as though. Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. We going in then? Hey, mister. Make it quick or I might run off again. Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Watch it.
My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. Oh, yes. Yes, just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you saved me. Oh, that was okay. Oh. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well... You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh... Oh, yes, mister, please. Yeah. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. <clears throat> yep. I travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. We're close now. Just a little further. Evening. Oh, God! Read about the home for the Leviticus Cornwall train robbers! <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Ma'am, will you be all right from here? Hello. I'll find my way. Thank you, sir.
way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Come on. Really? Really. Look out, Arthur. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could've played that better, couldn't ya? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arms. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. Look where you're going. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. See the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on with this, Mr. Uh, Morgan. Yes. 
Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> With pleasure. Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. My good young man. Fairly well, fairly well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was, and you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. Let's get chatting with Junior here a bit. You sell us something for us? Spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. Good Lord God Almighty. No one who ever built us could offer. But our souls is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky and complicated. Sure. For you, just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey, it's whiskey. Okay, let's Mom. grab this stage coach and get out of here. Mom, there's a problem. Hey, Mom. wait for me to get out. Damn it, they're on to us. We need to get out of here. Get back on the damn road. Damn it, I think you should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. 
Must have left the dresser open. Take it easy, Arthur. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. What are we doing off the road? Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Whoa, whoa! Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Steady there. Don't scare away my dinner. Well, you chose a fair spot. Shh. Tracks are real fresh. Yes, I know where you are. Got him! Did you see that? Perfect! Well, shit, you're good at this. Yep. You sure are a beauty. Be on the way. <clears throat> you 
Yep, yep. Okay, girl. Here. send you excuse me because if they did they can get lost i have never been so insulted in all my life really laugh death boulder dash what are you doing are you quite certain you're not a spy a spy those wretches will do anything to destroy me my theories are correct and i can prove it what theories I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <coughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! Why don't 
Not you see it, Arthur. You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur, what a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just realistic about what's coming. But I Keep killing animals needlessly. I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. I ain't that the truth. <sighs> I ain't that the truth. Good day, Mr. Morgan. There she is. Good morning. <laughs>